So I've been getting a lot of requests for you guys for different skincare problems that you want to address and a lot of you have been asking me to uh, make a do-it-yourself or do-it-at-home type of mask for enlarged pores. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to shrink enlarged pores using an egg. So just like my last do it at home mask, my sister is going to be modeling at the end of this video so I can give you guys a little bit of a demo, show you guys how easy it is and show it to you live. But before that, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of background info. So we all know what pores are, they're these little dots all over your face. They're basically pores just like you would have on your arm. If you look at your arm, your arm is full of pores also, but they're a lot more visible on the face. And absolutely nobody has perfect skin. I don't care what celebrity you are, um, makeup, airbrushing, lighting, and types of editing can help um, you know, live video or magazine ads to look absolutely flawless, but really nobody in the world has um, a poreless face. Enlarged pores are mostly caused by two things, and number one cause is aging, and the second is just genetics. Now, if you have oily skin, sadly, that means more enlarged pores. If you think about it, Oily skin gets clogged with oil quite frequently, and um, over time that oil will actually leave the pore. So pretend this is the pore, the oil leaves it, but the pore doesn't shrink back. It was stretched out by the oil that was already there. So if you have oily skin, you're, you have more of a tendency to have stretched out enlarged pores. Now, in addition to weekly cleansing and exfoliation, and I have a video for you guys already, I will link everything down below on how I cleanse my face and how I exfoliate at home with another do-it-yourself type of mask. The egg mask, in addition, will help to shrink your pores, but I do wanna put a disclaimer out there, guys. Sadly, there's no way to permanently shrink your pores. This is a temporary fix. Um, no matter what, there's no way to permanently fuse back shut those pores you need pores in order for your skin to breathe and there's no way to just fuse them shut this will temporarily shrink them now I'm using one organic egg you don't have to use an organic egg but if you have one handy that's a lot better eggs help to tighten the skin of course tighten the pores it definitely brightens the skin a lot it actually has deep cleansing properties as well and it helps to balance oily skin eggs are also packed full of vitamins which are gonna be great for your face as well now you can use this little egg mask up to one time a week, so I'm just going to jump into it and show you okay, guys how so it's done. Okay, so I only did one thing off camera, and that is separate my eggs. So in this bowl, I just have the yolk, and in this bowl here, I have the egg white. And actually for this mask, all we need is the egg white, so you can keep the egg yolk separate, and you can use that for breakfast. You can just keep that one separate for now. So what I'm gonna do is take this bowl, and I'm just going to whip up the egg white until it's looking frothy. So it probably will take about one minute until you see a lot of bubbles and it turns a whitish color. So it looks very bubbly and now it's ready to be all put right, on All right, so the face. same with all of our masks, you wanna make sure that your fingers are clean. I'm just going to dip my fingers right into the bowl and I'm going to be applying this on the whole face. It's gonna feel a little bit slimy and gross, but just make sure to work it into the skin. I'm going to be focusing, especially where people will get clogged pores, which like I said, is mostly on the nose and right around the nose. Now usually one full egg white is enough for at least five or six different masks, but you can only store this in your refrigerator for up to one week. So I recommend doing this with a friend if you don't wanna waste a lot of this egg yolk because if you don't use it up within a week, it's garbage. And again, I only do this egg mask once a week, so this would pretty much be sitting in the refrigerator um, for no reason for me. So again, I would try to do this with a couple of friends so I could use up all the leftover egg white. So what you're gonna do next is just stay like that. It usually takes about five minutes before you're gonna feel the mask tighten up. When you can't smile anymore and your face feels very tight, that's when it's time to wash it off. So while this egg is sitting on your face, it's gonna really help to tighten the pores on your skin, it's gonna brighten your skin, it's gonna balance oily skin, and it's also gonna to help to really deeply cleanse your face. So about five minutes have passed, and now the mask should feel very tight on your skin, so it's time to take it off. And I don't have a sink in front of us, so I'm just going to be using a wet paper towel to wipe off all the egg white. You wanna make sure to get it all off pretty good. I would use your normal cleanser just to make sure that there's no residue left behind. And here's another quick tip if you want to shrink your pores again temporarily is use a piece of ice. And sorry, this is pretty cold, but I'm just going to rub this right all over your skin, especially where the enlarged pores are. Again, over the nose, 
the size of the nose and the inner parts of the cheek. And that's really going to help to temporarily really fuse the pores. And this is a tip you could do every day before you do your makeup. If you have a problem with really large pores, use a piece of ice like this every day before you put your moisturizer on and it will temporarily shrink your pores. And after that, we're all done. Okay guys, and that's it for that mask. There's actually two more masks that I was thinking of showing you guys, which includes only one. There's a way to deeply cleanse your skin and get all that dirt out of those white heads and black heads by using a mask. And there's also another way to moisturize by using an egg mask. But those are two completely different recipes and I didn't want to confuse you guys and include too many of them in this video. So if you guys want to see how to remove dirt from your black heads and your white heads and if you want to see how to moisturize using an egg mask, let me know and I'll come out with that in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for requesting so much. You guys have seriously been inspiring me a lot. A lot of you guys have been, you know, telling me different skincare problems that you have and that makes me want to research how you can do it at home instead of loading your skin with chemicals or going out and buying more product. So I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos and as always if you have any type of skincare problem that you would like me to come out with a little video on how to treat it at home, just let me know down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!